You should eat food in as natural a state as possible, fresh, pure, organic, and primarily vegetarian. You do well on plant-based diets like soya proteins, grains, and vegetables. You should avoid overly processed and refined foods. Your risk factors are heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. But if you follow this diet, you'll be making your immune system much more stronger and you will avoid the development of life-threatening diseases. To get the greatest benefits, you should eliminate all meat from your diet. You don't do well on paleo diet because you lack some of the digestive enzymes and stomach acids that would allow you to effectively digest animal protein. What you can do is you can substitute fish for meat several times a week and choose poultry which is lean chemical and pesticide free cuts. You should avoid processed meat like ham, frankfurters and cold cuts because they contain nitrites which promote stomach cancer in people with low levels of stomach acid. You can eat seafood in moderate quantities three or four times a week. Many varieties of fish are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which are protective against your tendency to get cardiovascular disease and cancer. You should avoid white fish such as sole and flounder because they contain a lectin that can irritate your digestive tract. You should eat edible snail, helix aspersal pomatia, it contains a powerful lectin that may protect against breast cancer. This is a positive kind of agglutination. This lectins help get rid of sick cells. You can tolerate small amounts of fermented dairy products, but you should avoid anything made with whole milk and also limit egg consumption to an occasional organically grown egg. You should eat yogurt, kefir, non-fat sour cream, and cultured dairy products. You can substitute raw goat's milk, soya milk, and soya cheese for whole milk. The commercial dairy products are not digestible by you because the sugars in the milk tend to be seen as unfriendly to the gut and they encourage the growth of non-A friendly bacteria. If you are an allergy sufferer or are experiencing respiratory problems, you should know that dairy products greatly increase the amount of mucus and you naturally produce more mucus because you need the extra protection it provides your somewhat too friendly immune system. However, too much mucus can be harmful because various bacteria can live off of it. You need very little fat to function well, but a tablespoon of olive oil on salads or steamed vegetables every day will help in digestion and elimination. As a monounsaturated fat, olive oil also has a positive effect on your heart and may actually reduce cholesterol. Oils like corn and safflower oil can cause inflammatory reaction on the delicate linings of your blood vessels. Since you eat very little animal protein, nuts and seeds supply an important protein component. Examples are pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, almonds, and walnuts. Walnuts are the most beneficial because they contain proteins and oils that help the cells to get rid of accumulated debris. It's a process called autophagy. Pumpkin seeds are also highly beneficial. If you have gallbladder problems, you should limit yourself to small amounts of nut butters instead of whole nuts. Many beans and legumes provide a nutritious source of protein and you thrive on this vegetable protein. Soya beans contain a lectin called genistein that may protect against certain cancers and one of its main flavones has a truly wonderful healing effect on the delicate linings of your blood vessels. There is also considerable evidence that genistein stimulates receptors and fat cells which in turn activate fat bursting genes. Tofu is your staple food because it is nutritionally complete food that is both filling and inexpensive. You do well with grains and cereals and you can eat these foods one or more times a day. You should not eat processed products such as frozen meals, prepared noodles, with sauces or packaged rice and vegetable combination. Instead, you should get 
full nutritional benefits from whole grain products. You should bake your own cakes, prepare your own pasta or steam your own rice using the purest ingredients. If you are trying to lose weight or if you have excess mucus condition caused by asthma or frequent infection, you should limit wheat consumption or avoid it altogether because wheat causes mucus production. You will have to experiment for yourself to determine how much wheat you can eat. You can eat 100% sprouted wheat bread called esine or manna. Here the wheat lectin is destroyed in the sprouting process. Vegetables are important to your diet because they provide minerals, enzymes, and antioxidants, and you should eat your vegetables in as natural a state as possible to get their full benefits. Most vegetables are available, however, there are a few caveats. Peppers can aggravate your delicate stomach, and so does molds and fermented olives. You are also sensitive to the lectins in domestic potatoes, sweet potatoes, yams, and cabbage. Avoid tomatoes because their lectins can have a strongly irritating effect on your digestive tract. Broccoli is highly recommended because of its antioxidant benefits. It strengthens your immune system and prevent abnormal cell division. Other vegetables that are good for you are carrots, collard greens, kale, pumpkin, and spinach. You should use plenty of garlic. It's a natural antibiotic and immune system booster and it's good for your blood because your immune system is vulnerable to a number of diseases that garlic ameliorates. Yellow onions are very good immune boosters too. They contain a powerful antioxidant called quercetin. You should eat fruits three times a day and you should focus on alkaline ones such as berries and plums because they help you to balance the grains that are acid forming in your muscle tissue. Melons are also alkaline, but their high mold counts can make them hard for you to digest. Honeydew melon should be avoided altogether because they have the highest mold counts. Other melons listed as neutral in the chart can be eaten occasionally. You don't do well on tropical fruits. Pineapple, on the other hand, is an excellent digestive aid. Oranges should be avoided because they contain elements that can act like growth factors for undesirable strain of bacteria. This can result in an imbalance of bacteria in the gut called dysbiosis. Grapefruit is closely related to orange and is an acidic fruit, but it has a positive effect on your stomach. After digestion, it becomes alkaline. Lemons are also excellent for you. It, they help you to digest and clear mucus from your system. Because vitamin C is an important antioxidant, especially for your stomach cancer prevention, you should eat vitamin C rich fruits such as grapefruit or kiwi. The banana lectin interferes with your digestion. You can substitute other high potassium fruits such as apricots, figs, and allowable melons. You should start every day with a small glass of warm water into which you have squeezed the juice of half a lemon. This will help you to reduce the mucus that has accumulated overnight in the more sluggish digestive tract and stimulate normal elimination. Lemon and water also possess slightly but significant anti-clotting effects, helping your naturally more viscous blood to flow smoother. Alkaline fruit juices such as black cherry juice, concentrated, diluted with water, should be consumed in preference to high sugar juices which are more acid forming. Red wine is good for you because of its positive cardiovascular effects. A glass of red wine three or four times a week is believed to lower the risk of heart disease for both men and women. Coffee may actually be good for you. Its antioxidant and enzymes are custom designed for your digestive tract and immune system. Alternate coffee and green tea so that you can get the benefits of both. All other beverages should be avoided. They don't suit your digestive system, nor do they support your immune system. Drink pure fresh water freely. When you take the right combination of herbs and spices, they can be powerful immune system boosters. In fact, 
Spices are the original medicines. Many of them are rich in antimicrobial essential oils, while others are great source of antioxidants, immune enhancing phytochemicals, and fat bursting thermogenic compounds. Try to include your recommended spices in your diet on a regular basis. Refer the chart. You should be careful with condiment use. Black step molasses is a very good source of iron, which is lacking in your diet. Vinegar, you should avoid it because the acids tend to cause stomach lining irritation and produce dysbiosis in the gut. Sugar is allowed in your diet, but only in very small amounts as a condiment, not as an energy source. Minimize your use of white processed sugar. Recent studies have shown that the immune system is sluggish for several hours after ingesting it.